All right, so we've got a meetup we're trying to plan. Right now, tentatively, we're thinking the 19th of August, right? That's what you, that's yes. that's the date. Make sure I say that right. So the 19th of August, we're thinking of doing a meetup. Now, we're going to, you know, there's going to be some tickets because we got to have, we got to have some way of tracking who's coming. Like at least how many people are coming, right? Um, and we don't know, I'm unsure of how many people to limit it to. Like we don't want, we don't want it to get out of hand or, we, you know, we don't have a big enough space or the resources or food or drinks or whatever, but we are planning some, some fun things. All right. So we're going to, we're going to do this meetup. Now we're talking about doing some crazy things. I'm, I don't know if y'all have ever had Goose Island's um, barrel aged stout, but it is a fantastic beer that has been, you know, stout that has been aged in um, bourbon barrels. So I'm thinking about doing a store pick here pretty soon and getting some of Red Clay's beer and aging it. Maybe their McKenzie Scotch Ale, maybe their Brown Ale, maybe both. Aging those in a barrel, so those will be available for that event. Yeah, and Red Clay's our local brewery. Yeah, Red Clay's the local brewery here. Um, we've got Jimmy. Well, the one that we go to most. Yeah. <laughs> There's another one. Yeah, Resting Pulse here as well. But we're having Jimmy over tomorrow from John Emerald about talking about maybe some things we could get him involved in as well. We may try to source a barrel or two and do a blend and create a bottle that will only be available at that event or something like that. So, we're you know, we're planning that, but, like, I don't know. I, I just don't. We have no way of telling how many people would come to something like that. Like, I just don't know. We're thinking of just kind of limiting it to, like, 200 to 300 people. And then it's like, is that way too small? Should we shoot for bigger? Oh, but, like, we don't want to. If we shoot for 1,000 people and we get 200, that's a problem. If we shoot for 200 and we get 200, that's great. Yeah. Right? So, Mary Jessica will be there. And, and again, we're trying to find some really fun, two. cool things. That's two. We, we got, got two. two. We're two. We're ten. We're like one percent of the way there already. <laughs> already. These are purely big for the name. Except I got gotcha. you. Except for the Glen Going. Well, we the one I found. So the only Scotch I've ever had that I liked was in the last string, and it was this Compass Box Hedonism. Yeah, that was literally good. the only Scotch I've ever had. Where I, not not it's like I that's okay. I could deal with that. That's not bad. Like. I would actually just come out here and have a pour of that just to have a good time. So we've got this one, and we're just trying to see if maybe there's something else that, you know, that I haven't tried. Like, I haven't tried most of these. So i uh, try to take those to the next level. But I want to I want to talk about this meetup. And if y'all have got any ideas for how we can make the most awesomest meetup ever. Most and then awesomest if you, meetup If you're ever. interested, so it, it's probably going to be a ticket because it's going to cost us a bunch of money, and I don't have any. <laughs> Um, to, you know, we're going to buy like, I'm thinking, any, I'm thinking thinking about buying any. like a hundred gallons of beer and aging it in barrels. And then we're talking about buying a couple of barrels of whiskey and blending them. So those will be for sale, but like, we've got a venue. We're talking about maybe some live music, um, that kind of thing. So it might be like a hundred dollar ticket or something to go to this thing. We'll, we'll see. We're still trying to figure out the price. We may have some merch that we give away with it and stuff like that. Like we'll figure out how to make it worth it. But Uncle Nate says two fifty a ticket, so we might do like that and like a VIP thing the night yeah, before. The night before. So like we we'll, we'll do that. a normal thing on Saturday and then Friday do something at John Emerald where maybe we buy into a barrel. He's got a bottle and bond, so he'll have some new make. We can maybe see him barrel the thing. Like I don't know. I'm talking to him about what we can do there, and then every year at the meetup we can take that barrel and sample it, <laughs> right, and see see what it's about. It would be an Opelika, Alabama, there, Craig. Yes, booze cruise in Millbrook. <laughs> Um, Scotland bourbon hunt would be fun. So I'm trying to do it here. I, you know, I want to support, I want to support John Emerald. I want to support red clay and, uh, I want to bring more people to open like it. I yeah. think if it Those works, some of our favorite places. if it works, I would like to try to expand it. Maybe we, you know, over two or three years, we can expand it and do like a bourbon festival here. And I'm talking to several distilleries about maybe coming in and giving away samples and, you know, really small distilleries, regional stuff that, that folks, uh, maybe haven't tried before. So 